everybody, it's Anne here from PositivelyPaperCraft.co.uk and I'm back with another tutorial and we did a, a last, last week we did a one which was like geared at kind of craft fairs and little embellishments and things so this is going to be part two and what I've done is I've been making some cute little embellishments with chipboard and it's again as I keep saying it's just the chipboard I get from Stampin' Up's paper um, and I just cut it out with a die and then here's the one I made here and as you can see it's just chipboard so I cut it out with a die I cut the paper with the same die stuck that down some of the little roses that I've been making and uh, just another little chipboard heart and I inked around the edges and uh, these are really sweet and they're really thick obviously you could use them for um, putting in like your little pocket letters embellishments to sell like ready-made uh, scrapbooks all sorts of things you could maybe even put a little hole in and put them on a little tag or all sorts of stuff so that's one that I made there <clears throat> I made this cute little round one here um, this one was a star that I made um, another one I used the the tea sweet um, this was just a little heart just a little sentiment on and another little um, glittery heart in the middle so we're going to make a couple today um, the first one is what I've done is I've cut out can I get it here um, I've used this which is beautiful it's stamping up floral frames so I've cut this shape out here for the tag then using some of the um, the color collections the DSP what we have in um, all the matching colors of the ink I've cut two of them out I think that one's balmy blue and then I've also cut out two of those gorgeous little leaves because you get like so that they match up so they're symmetrical and I've cut two of them out and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp um, the two little flowers here and cut them out so you don't have to put any on the back but I've cut two out so I'm going to for this one so what I'm going to do is just glue it on I'm just going to glue the front and the back on so I'm sure like me you've got loads of chipboard and I just think it's the make lovely little tags and embellishments because obviously it's really thick isn't it so all right so that is the front and the back on well it was the front and the back on till I've just messed it up Alright, lovely, and then I'm going to take a little um, sponge dabber and I've got some of the balmy blue ink and again I'm just going to sponge all around the sides and also like the chipboard as well which is what we did with those tags that I made the other day it's just the same kind of thing I think that looks lovely Right, so that's that bit done. Whoopsie, nearly had ink everywhere. 
so I want my two little flowers which I've got here and I'm going to do it in Blush and Bride ink for the flowers alright just like that and then I'm also using a set I use loads which is tabs for everything and I've got the little wonderful I'm going to stamp that out as well so we're going to cut this out too just to kind of um, stick on our little design so you get the matching where well you can get the framelits as well which just cuts this out and I think that I might just cut that out by hand so I'll quickly get the big shot and we'll just cut our little flowers out There's our little flowers and I'm just going to take some scissors and I'm just going to, I might make this like a little flag thing. So I've just cut that out and then I'm just going to snip up the middle like that. There we go. So I need them too. And then we can start putting this together. So I'm going to have two little leaves about here. And then I want the flowers over the top. Which way does I go? Like that something like that and the little wonderful I could just have that peeping across there like that which I think they're just so sweet so I'm gonna stick these little leaves down this one going down this way I think what I'll do is I'll <coughs> stick the little flowers down with and a um, couple of dimensionals
okay just like that and then the little wonderful we can just have that peeping out there And then I've got this little pink glittery heart that I'm just going to pop in the corner. These are stamping up but I think they may be retired now. I'm just going to pop that up here. And then I've got a couple of little um, rhinestones that I'm just going to put, put in the middle of the flowers so there's the first one done I think that is just so sweet whoopsie gorgeous so that's one there and then this one I've cut out of um, one of the scalloped ovals and I've used the um, tranquil textures I love this paper so I'm gonna glue these on again on the front and back of the chipboard seem to line up a particular way it depends which way you cut them out oh, it's not right. some more glue on it's dried that's how quick this dries It's got to be this way then. Oh, it's stuck now, I'm going to have to do. And then put this one on the other side. I'm going to again I'm going to ink the edges on this one because it didn't line up very well which I don't understand why when I've cut it all from the same die there we go and then this one what I've used I'm just going to put the pin in this glue or it's going to dry is the stitched all around so I've cut out this one here and then the circle so I've cut this in silver foil which I'm going to pop in the middle so I'm going to glue this down straight away just across the middle like that and then I'm going to stamp out you are my sunshine stamp this one with the same colour 
the balmy blue. Okay, and then we're going to cut that out with this gorgeous little circle here. Bring this back in. So you can use up your little scraps and all sorts to make these. I like this die because it cuts out like the little stitching as well as those little pieces there let's get them out there I really like this die and that's going to go in the middle of our little tag again I think I'll stick this on with a couple of dimensionals That's going to go in the middle. Isn't that lovely? So sweet. And you can put little gems or whatever you want. You could put all sorts of stuff on. So I think we'll have a couple little gems going around here. So there we go. I hope you like them and I hope it gives you, you know, some more ideas, inspiration, stuff you can use up, use your little scraps up and stuff. I think that's my favourite one. I like that one. But um, yeah, so give them a try. So I'll be back again uh, tomorrow with another video. So thanks for watching. Take care and bye for now.